Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to today's episode of The Fishing Teacher and much appreciated you guys making some time to watch today's video and spend a little time with me. Really appreciate that. And guys, today we're gonna to be giving tips and advice on when you wanna fish a white or a pearl colored jerk bait. Uh, this is a very situationally specific color. Um, doesn't work all the time, but when you get the right set of conditions, it can be the best color that you can throw. So we're gonna go over that in today's video. Um, also guys, just a quick invitation. I'd like to invite everybody to please consider subscribing here to Intuitive Angling um, by subscribing and hitting that like button. It's a really good way to help the channel out. It's free and easy. And also um, we, had, we do have memberships here on The Fishing Teacher. So if you guys are interested in becoming a member of The Fishing Teacher, just go to my homepage here and hit the join button for information. I much appreciate it on that. Okay guys, this, to be honest with you guys, this is not a color I throw a lot, a pearl or a white color jerk bait. But when I do get the right situation, I pull it out every single time. I mean, this can be a really good color under the right uh, uh, set of circumstances. So let's talk a little bit about, about that. Now, most of the time on this is the Mega Bass Vision 110. Also guys, I'll include my Mega Bass uh, uh, jerk bait link in the description if you guys like to pick up some of these colors for the situations I'm talking about here. But most of the time, a, a, a white or a pearl color is gonna be a flat finish like this. It's, gonna, it's not gonna be metallic, it's not gonna be see-through. It's a flat finish that really, really stands out. And the, the, the main thing about this color that sets it apart from any other color is how this bait glows in the water under certain conditions. Now, when you put this bait in the water under the right set of circumstances, there's a look to it that, that is second to none. There's no other jerkbait color that looks like this in the water. And so they're given that, the type of conditions I like for it are a little bit off colored water or cloudy, rainy, dark conditions, low light conditions. So I consider, I consider off colored water for a jerkbait to be down around two feet. So if you put the uh, pearl or a matte finish like this or white in about two foot of clarity, and then also you put some cloud cover on it, or maybe you're out there early and late in the morning. Um, it creates a look, and it, like I said, it just for lack of a better word, it glows in the water, and it's very, very visual to the fish. Stands out better than any other color that you can use. So this is my stained water color. It's my low light color, and um, you get those combinations together, and it can be really good. Another time that this works really good is in the pre-spawn time of the year. When those water temperatures are in the 50s, it can be really good. And also it's good again in the fall time of the year because bass feed heavily on shad in the fall time of the years. And these are really good shad imitators. My, my number one technique for fishing the, these white bright baits like this in the fall time of the year is around boat dock corners. If you've got a lake that has water visibility of under two feet, you can throw these things around the edge of, the, edge of a dock, around the sides of them. Really good uh, you know, color for that situation. Another time this works really good, and there's a paradox to jerkbait colors sometimes, is this is a good smallmouth color in clear water. So all you guys that fish up on the northern tier of lakes, Great Lakes, you know, all those big smallmouth waters up there, the pearl or white color jerkbait is really good for smallmouth, even in clear water, even in sunny conditions. It's really, it's sort of a, a, a misnomer a little bit because when you're talking about smallmouth and largemouth and jerkbait fishing, they're the direct opposite. The, the largemouth will not hit certain jerkbait colors at all. The smallmouth will just clobber, and this is one of them in clear water. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to run that by you. Um, like I said, it's, it's worth it to carry two or three of them in your boat, because if you get in a situation where you do have that off-colored water and you feel that they're really on a jerkbait, or say, for example, you're catching a few fish on a jerkbait, and then the day you're out there, it's windy and cloudy and rainy, another good time to throw it. It's just a it's good, it's a good color to have in your arsenal to, to see if the fish want it occasionally. So anyway, I hope it helps out guys. We'll talk later.